Hi, I'm Kohei Obata from Sanken, Osaka University. I'm going to talk about dynamic multi network mining of tensile time series. Thanks to the development of IoT, tensile time series, which consist of multiple modes, including time, can be generated in many applications. This is an example of online activity data, where the search amount of six queries related to COVID 19, taken from 10 countries for 10 years, forming third order tensile. Subsequence clustering is one of the most important tasks for data mining. As well as clustering, the interpretability of the result is also important, since we normally don't have a pre-knowledge about the data. Clustering based on a dependency network provides interpretability. The network encodes the relationship between features. In the example below, if the cluster has a network, we can speculate what happened in 2020 when the cluster changed. Existing work of time series subsequence clustering focused on univariate or multivariate time series. However, they have several limitations when handling tensor time series, since tensors have an intricate dependency and huge data size due to the existence of modes. In this study, we propose DMM, Dynamic Multi Network Mining, for tensor time series subsequence clustering. We characterize a cluster with multiple networks by extending graphical lasso and define the cost function based on MDL, minimum description length, and propose the algorithm that can scale linearly with regard to data size. This is the clustering result of online activity data obtained by DMM, showing the interpretability of the proposed method. DMM detects four clusters and each cluster is characterized with country and query network showing its dependency. By analyzing the result, we can speculate how the world reacted to COVID-19. We then show the accuracy result of the synthetic dataset. DMM outperforms existing methods, even though it does not need to set any hyperparameters, including the number of clusters, thanks to the cost function. At last, we show the scalability of DMM. As the figure shows, DMM scales linearly with regard to the input data size thanks to our proposed algorithm. And when comparing the computation time using the real-world dataset, DMM is up to 300 times faster than the existing method. 